Okay, so coming back to this strange blocky shape that we made in the first class, uh, now we're going to go into another tab called Modify. Now Modify is all about saying, hey, I already have a 3D object and I wanna change something about it. Uh, very often when you're starting in a brand new program, uh, it is very, very uh, kind of strange saying, hey, there's so many buttons, I don't know what to do, I'm overwhelmed, no idea. So uh, one thing you can take out of this class is actually asking yourself a couple of questions and then dictating where you need to go. Uh, if you are starting off from scratch, then you're gonna be working in the sketch area. If you already have a 2D plane and you're now going from the 2D to the 3D, then that's gonna be in the create section. And if you already have a 3D object like we have, but you wanna change something about it, then we can go into the modify area. Uh, the modify is a little bit uh, a little bit less interesting than create, but it still gives us uh, some tools to kind of mess around with this a little bit. Uh, the one that we'll be working on first is fillet, not fillet. Uh, the fillet is basically a tool just to give us rounded edges. Now you can do this in the 2D section like we did to round off these corners, but if we want to round off this little corner right here, we need to do that with the 3D fillet. So I want to round over this top section. Uh, round over is the uh, original woodworking terminology. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could either click all of these uh, joints individually, or if I go, oh, actually, no, I want all of this se section, then I can click on this top face. I can say, oh, let's give it a, uh, a five millimeter radius. And you may go, no, nah, that looks too aggressive. Let's make it two. There we go, that looks pretty good. And as you can see, what it's done is it actually contorting around all this curved section, whether it's, an, uh, whether it's an external or an internal curve, it'll follow that path. Uh, but the other one that we can do is something called a chamfer. And a chamfer just means about 45 degree angle cut. Um, we use it all the time in woodworking if we wanna make a part a little bit more modern, um, but it does a very, very similar thing where we can cut off an angle or a bevel to something. So we're gonna spin our part around just by orbiting, again, by clicking shift and clicking the scroll wheel. We can then take a look at the underside and we're gonna go ahead and go modify chamfer. And we're gonna do the same roll. We're gonna be clicking this top section. We'll say two millimeters and hit okay. And now we have the same kind of style where we've got uh, this angle, this beveled cut that contorts all the way around all of our shapes. So we've got a chamfer on the bottom and we've got a fillet on the top and that's looking good. And finally, the last tool that we'll use in the modify tab is something called shell. Now shell is a tool that I use very, very often in 3D printing if I want to make something hollow. It is basically just saying, do you want to have an open section and how thick is your wall going to be? So we can click shell and we can say, hey, uh, I don't want the entire thing to be hollow. I just want to have an open face right up here. So I can uncheck tangent chain, click this top section and I can say, hey, I want a wall thickness of let's say two millimeters and I can hit okay. And what this has done is it has uh, taken this outside boundary and given it that two millimeter thickness, taken away that open top and then given us a pretty cool cut on the inside. And what I want you guys to notice is that it will give the outside information, but mapped on the inside. So even though I've gotten a, uh, a fillet on the top, a chamfer on the bottom, on the inside, I do still have a chamfered edge, which is very cool. And anytime you are working on a project that you know you're going to be making hollow, whether you're making something like a vase or a planter, Shell is a really fantastic tool to use. Hey guys, thank you very much for checking out our intro series to CAD modeling using Fusion 360. If you'd like to learn more about Fusion 360 and all of the exciting projects you can make using this tool, then consider investing in yourself and your time by purchasing the rest of this course where we'll work on CNC projects, photorealistic rendering, animated moving models, and much, much more. Within this program, you'll be following a cohort of fellow makers while working in weekly group sessions where you'll be receiving help through curated Discord servers, weekly office hours through Zoom with our fellow CAD class team, where we can answer any questions you may have. 
along with up-to-date PDFs and videos to assist you along the way. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one.